I'm Katherine Hatherly, a lab technician here at Dell Tech. Generally speaking, performance testing is used to determine how well a cleaning product works, either on its own or compared to the competition. Performance testing can also be used to substantiate manufacturer claims, such as our product has twice the cleaning power of competitor XYZ, or during product development to determine which potential formulation of a product is superior. Today, we want to talk specifically about test method ASTM D4488A5, which is a standard guide for testing cleaning performance of products intended for use on resilient flooring and washable walls. It is primarily applicable to household cleaners and may also be used for some industrial cleaners as well. Product types for this test include floor cleaners, wall cleaners, hard surface cleaners, as well as multi-surface and multi-purpose cleaners. ASTM D4488A5 is used to determine a product's cleaning efficacy by its ability to remove standard soils from a standard test substrate. The typical substrate, which is the surface material the soil is applied to, is a white vinyl tile. It is possible to modify this test depending on the needs of the client to use different surfaces such as hardwood, formica, or other typical flooring materials. So, how exactly does the test method work? The process is actually a lot more involved than you may think. A specific soil is prescribed by the method. In the case of method ASTM D4488A5, the soil has two parts, a particulate soil and an oil blend soil. The particulate soil portion is a combination of 10 ingredients, first mixed by hand and then transferred to a ball mill to be mixed for an additional 18 hours. Next, the, mi the mixture must be dried in a tray at either room temperature or an oven with occasional turning. But we're not done yet. Once dry, the particulate soil must be pulverized and filtered through a mesh screen. The oily blend soil consists of nine ingredients prepared over a steam bath. This process is why we lovingly refer to our soils as artisanal soils here at Deltec, because each one requires time and care to create. The next crucial step is the consistent application of the soil to the test surface. A template frame is used to contain the soil in the middle area of the tile. A precise 50 milligrams of the particulate soil is placed within the frame and then a paper towel cut to the exact size is wet with five drops of oily blend soil and placed over the particulate soil for 10 seconds. The technician then spreads the soil within the frame area on the tile surface. Finally, these tiles must be allowed to air dry for 24 hours before the cleaning test can occur. After all of this preparation, we are ready to perform the cleaning test using a washability apparatus. This is a machine that mimics a scrubbing motion with controlled parameters like weight and pressure, the speed of the scrubbing motion, and the number of scrubbing cycles. This ensures that each tile receives the same cleaning treatment for statistical comparison. Once the test is complete, it's time for us to evaluate the cleaning efficacy of the product. To do this, we have taken reflectance readings from the surfaces before the soiling application, after the soiling application, and finally after the cleaning test has occurred, all using a colorimeter. These values are compared to determine the overall cleaning efficacy of a product intended for use on resilient flooring and washable walls. Results from this testing are valuable because they may be used for claim substantiation, performance comparison to other products, and proof of performance for certification programs like EPA's Safer Choice, Green Seal, and UL Eco Logo, 
which can benefit product marketing. We here at Dell Tech regularly perform this test in our lab. If you have an all-purpose cleaner or a floor cleaner, Dell Tech can evaluate your product with this international testing standard to determine how well it works. For more information on performance testing at Dell Tech, check out our presentations on SlideShare and YouTube.